everyone and welcome back to Genshin Impact. So today we are doing a Genshin Hangout. Specifically, we are going to be doing Barbara's. I decided to do Barbara's instead of any of the others because Barbara was one of our first tailors that we had. So I figured it was it was out of good respect for her to do her first. I sure hope Sister Barbara is okay. What's happened to Barbara? Sister Barbara said that she was going out to pick some herbs earlier. But I'm afraid that she has yet to return. Hmm. Perhaps I should report the matter to the Knights of Havonius. I can go search for Barbara. You? Well, I guess as the honorary knight, you may very well be a good fit for the task. Not to mention, it would save me the trouble of reporting the matter to the Knights. All right, I'll leave it to you. Before Sister Barbara departed, she said that she was headed to Wolvendom to pick some herbs. You could start by looking for her there. Alright, I guess it's off to Wolvendom. Right, we are now in Wolvendom. Oh! And there's Barbara. And it's raining. Hello, Barbara. <sighs> How strange. I can't seem to find any. Barbara, I finally found you. Oh, oh, it's you! What are you doing here? Is something the matter? You've been gone for some time. We decided to come looking for you. Oh, I see. No need to worry. There hasn't been any sign of danger. I'm just here to gather some red wolf hook berries, that's all. But the strange thing is, there should be lots of them here. And I can't seem to find any. Hmm. Well, anyway... No need to worry about me. I'll just have another look around here, and if I can't find any, I'll just... Miss Barbara! Huh? She's not here either. Huh? Oh, somebody seems to be coming this way. Oh, I'm sorry, but please just keep quiet, okay? Don't let them find us. Why would you want to hide? Because... Let's go deeper into the forest and wait for them to leave. All right then. Let's head this way. Shh. Keep your voice down. We mustn't let that person find us here. Oh, this should be a good spot. Let's wait here for a while. Why are you trying to avoid being seen? Well, it's a little embarrassing to say, but in Mondstadt, I often perform songs for people. Because it's been so well received, the other sisters have started encouraging me to perform across Tivat. Now, more and more people are showing up to hear me perform. I'm happy to see such turnouts, don't get me wrong. But now, people always stop me on the street when I go shopping or when I go out for personal matters. I know that all they want is to get my autograph or to ask me how I'm doing, which isn't a bad thing. And I'm very thankful for all my fans, but oh, there are simply too many of them. I always do my best to fulfill their requests and not let them down. But sometimes I feel that I just don't have the strength to do so. Even when I'm in the church, people will still come hoping to greet me. I'm constantly in a state of tension no matter where I go. The reason I came here was not only to find wolf hooks for making Tunner's cough medicine, but also to have some quiet time alone. Do you understand that feeling? To sit peacefully and not think about anything? Just by yourself? It's simply the feeling of relaxation. It's been far too long since I've had that feeling. Before I knew it, I was out here all day and forgot to return to the city. If you're looking for wolf hooks, there should be plenty nearby. Oh well, yes, there are plenty of the normal variety. But I'm looking for red wolf hooks. No matter how hard I look, I can't seem to find any. I clearly remember that they always grow here. Let's wait for that person to leave and then we can go look for some. I guess that's all we can do for now. 
Although it certainly isn't nice to treat someone that way. But today, I simply wish to keep to myself. It's alright. This is a perfect place for two people to spend some time together. What? Huh? What do you mean? You... Uh, I'm sorry. I think we should go. Yes, it's time to go. Oh no. Barbara, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> I meant as if we could hang out and actually get to know each other. Hi, Barbara. So strange, I know I was already over here. <laughs> Shh. Keep your voice down. We mustn't let that person... Oh, this should be a good spot. Well, in Mondstadt, I'm happy to... I know that, and I always do, but... Even when I'm in the, the reason I came, do you understand? It's been far too... Oh, yes. I guess that's all. Instead, so what made you decide to join the church, Barbara? Well, my father has always worked at the church, and the church has always looked after me. I guess it was only natural for me to join the church when I grew up. And besides, my sister works in the Knights of Favonius. Oh, I can't even begin to compare with her. Not only is she adept with a blade, she's also capable of shouldering all the Knights of Favonius' matters on her own. I guess that's just who she is. I've never been able to come close to competing with her. Aside from singing and performing, I don't really have any abilities worth mentioning. Besides, my singing alone could never truly heal the wounds of others. I suppose that's another reason why I decided to join the church. To learn how to truly heal others. Though I may not be particularly skilled in battle, being able to heal the wounds of others is good in its own right. At least, that's what I think. Does that mean I can come to you when I need healing too? Of course! You are the honorary knight, after all. Feel free to find me for healing anytime. All right, then. That person should be long gone by now. I still need to find some of those wolf hooks. I can't seem to find any of the red variety anywhere. We can go look together. Oh, your help would be much appreciated. Let's search the nearby area. I'm sure we'll find some in no time. Strange. I'm almost certain I've seen lots of red wolf hooks growing here before. One red wolf hook? Oh, these must be the red wolf hook berries that Barbara is looking for! Let's gather some and bring them back to her! Here's two and three. Here's number four. Oh, and number five. Oh, oh, and the other one disappeared. I wanted to see if I could grab an extra. Were you able to find some red wolf hook berries? Yes, here they are. Let me have a look. Uh, yep, that should be enough. But it's still strange. I know for sure that I've seen lots of red wolf hooks growing here before. I wonder if someone had already gathered them all. Well, never mind. Thankfully, the berries you gathered should be just enough. Let's go! <sighs> Glad we finally made it out of there. The Wolvendom Forest is a nice getaway to be alone for a while, but there's not much sunlight. If you stay in there for too long, you can't help but start feeling a little gloomy. A little sunlight always helps keep your spirits up. Ah, yes. Now that we're here, I'd like to go to Don Winery and check on Tunner's condition. I've told him before that he should take it easy and rest for a while, but he never seems to listen. He even told me not to let Guy know anything about it. I'd like to check on him before going back and deciding which medicine I'll need to make. Um, would it be possible to, you know, ask for your help again? If you could go back and report to Sister Victoria while I check on Tunner, oh, that would be a big help. She's most certainly worried about me after being away so long. And besides, there's a lot of matters I still need to take care of back at the cathedral. It would be better if I let her know the situation. Leave it to us. Oh, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. 
Hello, Sister Victoria. Oh, you're back again. If you're looking for Sister Barbara, she's yet to return. Barbara is at Dawn Winery checking on Tunner. Oh, I see. <sighs> Thank Barbados that she's all right. But it sounds like she won't be back anytime soon. Hmm. Perhaps I'll have to pass her responsibilities in the cathedral to someone else. We can help. Oh, well, that's most kind of you. I certainly wouldn't want to trouble you. Hmm. Let me think for a moment. Ah, yes, you could help tidy up around the cathedral a bit. People tend to bring dust in as they come into the cathedral, so the floor is often quite dirty. Cleaning and the like have always been Sister Barbara's responsibility. So the moment she's gone, everything starts getting dirty. Barbara is responsible for cleaning a place this huge by herself? Yes, that's right. She always said that she could handle it herself and that there's no need to ask anyone else to help her. But she does often appear quite exhausted after she's finished with the cleaning. To be honest, I'm most surprised that you are willing to help, or rather that Barbara is willing to let you help. However, this would help to lighten her burden. Anyway, I'll let you handle the cleaning for now, honorary knight. Thank you. Huh. Well, that should just about do it for the cleaning. Goodbye, really Sister Victoria told me you already helped tidy up the cathedral. Thank you so much. When did you get back? I just returned a short while ago. I can't thank you enough for how much you've helped me today. Both here in the cathedral and back in Wolvendom. You must be thirsty after so much work, no? How about I treat you to a drink? Oh, I've just remembered that the cat's tail is promoting a special drink recently. Miss Margaret said that the name of the drink is Fantastic Summer Serendipity Coral Sparkling Tea. <laughs> she also mentioned that it's her secret weapon to beating Angel's share in drink sales. Where it is that the drink's pretty good, but there's always a line to get it. We'll probably have to wait if we want some. If you'd rather not stand in line, I could make you a glass of my very own chili brew. Which would you like to drink? I would like to try your special chili brew. Coming right up! But I should warn you, the flavor is quite unique. I'm not sure how you'll handle it. I should be fine, I think. Alright, let me think. To make this drink, we'll need some fresh Juyun chilies and sweet flowers. The key to a good batch of chili brew is not the quantity of ingredients, but the quality of ingredients. I know where to gather fresh Juyun chilies, but sweet flowers might be a bit tricky. Though they're easy to find, High-quality sweet flowers are few and far between. Oh, why don't we split up to search for ingredients? Once we've found the ingredients we need, we can meet up just south of the Whispering Woods. All right, let's split up. All right, I'll head to the Whispering Woods to gather sweet flowers while you go search for Julia and Chili's around Stone Gate. Oh, and by the way... Even though I've already requested a half day's leave from Sister Victoria, she always insists that I still give her my itinerary for any trips I take. While I head over to the Whispering Woods, could you please check in with Sister Victoria and let her know where I will be? Sister Victoria, we're leaving again. Yes, my child? About Barbara's itinerary. Oh? Sister Barbara wishes to go to the Whispering Woods to pick herbs. I see. In fact, Sister Barbara just requested a half day's leave to go meet a friend. Now she suddenly intends to go herb picking? I'm sure Sister Barbara has her reasons. Will you be accompanying her? Yes, I will be accompanying her. Ah, <sighs> I trust she will be in good hands then. Please take good care of Sister Barbara, Honorary Knight. Why does Barbara always have to report her plans? Well, as you may already know, Sister Barbara is quite popular in Mondstadt for several reasons. Although the citizens here may only be acting out of good intention, there are too many of them, and Sister Barbara can't handle it all. If they appear while she is working here at the church, we can come and intervene. But if she's approached by fans during her time off, then she can only fend for herself. And not to mention, 
She's too... kind. She'll always try to fulfill the requests of the citizens of Mondstadt, even when it takes a heavy toll and leaves her more exhausted than actual working hours. So with that in mind, we thought we'd have Sister Barbara always tell us where she'd be, just in case we need to come rescue her from the crowds. My hope is that Sister Barbara stops pushing herself so hard. Well, you and I can both hope for that. Over there! Dre and Chili's! Quick, let's go and pick some! Alright. These are fresh, alright. Paimon can feel the spiciness just by holding them. Let's go to the Whispering Woods and find Barbara. Barbara? Are you here? I don't see you. This seems like the right place, but Barbara isn't here. Well, let's wait here a while. She'll probably be back soon. <sighs> it's been ages. Where in Tevat did she go? Let's look for her. She said she wanted to go to the Whispering Woods and pick sweet flowers. Let's head over there. She's not here either. Where the heck is she already? <sighs> Let's look further up ahead. Aye, aye, Captain Paimon. Oh, there's Barbara. Barbara, you've taken so long. What are you doing? Wait, that's Barbara. Why is she hiding? Let's see what's going on. How did you two... Oh, quickly, this way. Try not to make a sound. We thought something happened, so we came looking for you. Oh, I'm so sorry. I ran into something unexpected. Oh, there's no heading back now. Long story short, I was picking sweet flowers and suddenly a group of treasure hoarders appeared. They'd seized a merchant of some kind and were pushing her around. It sounded like they were demanding money from her. I took cover right away, but I've been trailing them ever since. I guess they were too caught up with the merchant to notice me. I followed them this far, but it seemed like they knew somebody was following them, so I didn't go any further. That was risky. What if you'd been discovered? Don't worry about me. They're only treasure hoarders, after all. Anyway... I've got a vision. It's enough to protect myself. As for the person they seized, they might be in danger. That's why I was secretly trailing them. I thought of getting the knights involved, but I was worried it would take too long. What if the treasure hoarders did something terrible while I was gone? I was trying to think of some way of rescuing the merchant when you showed up. So, honorary knight, maybe you could, uh... Say no more. I'm sure these treasure hoarders will respond well to a little direct intervention. Yay! I'll leave it to you, honorary knight. I'll handle the aftercare. Who dares enter our territory? Release your hostage immediately! <laughs> so you want to play the hero? Porters, seize the girl. Let's see if this idiot with her dares make a move. Oh no, they're going after Barbara. We've got to... Don't worry about me. I'm a vision bearer after all. I'll handle these guys. You go rescue the merchant. Picked the wrong test subject. Woohoo. Thank you. I can't express my gratitude. I'm a merchant, Falua. I was on my way to Mondstadt. I had no idea there were treasure hoarders on the road. They seized me and brought me here. If it weren't for you, gods know what would have happened to me. Oh, <laughs> please allow me to repay your kindness. The treasure hoarders already made off with most of my things, but let me see here. Um, so there are still a few bottles of chili brew, a few sweet flowers, and... Here's some aura. No, no, no. We don't need a reward. Rescuing those in need is only natural. Besides, I'm the deaconess of the Church of Pavonius, and this is the Knights of Pavonius Honorary Knight. As a visitor from Liyue, we have a duty to guard your safety. I won't hear of it. 
You rescued me. It's only right that your kindness is repaid. I'm afraid I have nothing of great value to offer, but please choose what you like. Um, okay. I just don't know what to choose. Liyu at Chili Brew might be delicious, but with those sweet flowers, I'd have enough ingredients to make my own. I know. You have way more adventuring experience than me. You'll be better at this. You choose. What do you think is the most fitting reward? Yes, adventurers are savvy when it comes to rewards. What'll it be? Liyue's famous chili brew, sweet flowers, or Mora? Well, we were looking for sweet flowers. Really? Sweet flowers and a chili brew? I guess it's all chili brew at the end of the day, but the Mondstadt version sure sounds interesting. Sweet flowers it is. These are an excellent batch. <laughs> Thanks again for your help. I better get moving. These sweet flowers look fantastic. And now we've finally got all the ingredients we need for the chili brew. Let's get back to Mondstadt. When we're inside the city, why don't you wait for me in the garden next to the Adventurer's Guild? When the chili brew is ready, I'll bring it straight over. <sighs> Sorry for the delay. The chili brew's ready. Why don't we drink these here? Here. This one is for you. Let me know what you think. This is... pretty good. Really? Is the flavor okay for you? I was worried you might not like it. So what got you into Chili Brew? Well, I like Chili Brew because... Uh, oh, actually, it's a little embarrassing. At first, I drank Chili Brew just to keep me awake. When I first began singing practice, I had to get up early every day. After practice, I would go to work at the church to take care of official matters. But because I was getting up so early, my singing wasn't getting any better. Sometimes I'd be half asleep singing the wrong lyrics. It was a disaster. I went to people for advice on how to stay awake. They had all kinds of methods. Running, chewing mint, one adventurer even told me that they'd fight slimes to stave off sleep. None of those ideas worked for me. They were too time-consuming. By the time I started to feel awake, there was hardly any time left for practice. <laughs> that was until I started chewing chewing and chilies. And that didn't affect your voice? <laughs> That's what Sarah said. She told me not to chew them, but to use the Julian chilies to make some kind of drink, something milder in flavor. Using sweet flowers to temper the flavor was also her idea. That's when I started using this new and improved chili brew method. After a while, I actually started to enjoy the flavor. Whenever I drank it, the spiciness would always push me to work harder. Sounds like this bottle of chili brew is a reflection of your determination. I don't know what to say. My determination is nothing compared to yours. I heard Amber say that you're traveling far and wide looking for your sibling. Is that true? Oh, the things you faced, and those yet to come, are more difficult than a few bad songs. Even if I can't assist you in other ways, when it comes to healing, you can count on me. No matter the wound, I will help you recover. Oh. <sighs> Have I said too much? Sorry, I'm not used to taking a break. I keep boring you to death. <laughs> it's not often I get so much freedom. Let's just take our time and drink our drinks. Tomorrow, it's back to chasing our dreams with hard work. I hope our dreams can come true in the end. All right, first one done. All right, so now we're just going to continue down each of them and see what the rest of them uh, have. So instead of getting sweet flowers, we will instead, I'd like to try that leeway chili brew. This? I mean, sure. <laughs> I don't know if you'll enjoy it. There are two of you, so you'll be needing a couple of bottles. Here you go. Pace yourselves. Thanks again for your help. I better get moving. Ugh. 
Leoi chili brew. I've never tried it. I wonder what the flavor's like. Well, here goes nothing. <coughs> Ooh, uh, spicy. Throat on fire. Mm, this isn't like the chili brew I make at all. What do you think? <coughs> We don't have to finish them. It's getting late. And I doubt there's enough time to go looking for sweet flowers. When we get time, I'll make some for you. My version's a little easier on the tongue. Less... stimulating. Let's head back to Mondstadt. My break's nearly over. Thanks for your company today, honorary night. Even though it was only half a day, I had a great time. Next time... You can try my special chili brew. And if anyone is wondering, if you choose Mora, it will fail the event. So, we've already failed the event once. We're not going to do that again. <laughs> okay, I had a brief moment where my recording thing stopped capturing anything but thankfully we haven't lost any progress <laughs> so we're going to continue on with the deaconess's gratitude a fantastic summer serendipity coral sparkling tea does sound pretty amazing yeah it does sound amazing i'm not sure how margaret came up with such a name but i have heard that the drink is quite popular now there's even a line of people waiting to purchase it every day. If you'd like to get one, we should head over to the cat's tail as quickly as we can. However, even though I've already requested a half day of leave from Sister Victoria, she still insists that I let her know where I'm going. With so many people trying to get in on the newest cat's tail offering, I'm worried we'll have to wait for ages if we get there too late. Oh, I've got it! Why don't you help me check in with Sister Victoria while I get in line at the cat's tail? That would save us some time. What do you think? Sounds good to me. It's settled then. Let's meet up at the entrance to the cat's tail. But what if you run into people asking for an autograph? It... Uh, it'll be fine. I'll just tell them that today is my day off. I'm sure they'll understand. Let's get going then. See you at the cat's tail. Yes, my child? About Barbara's time off. Oh, yes. Sister Barbara just submitted her request for half a day's leave. She said she had plans with a friend. I must say, though, it is quite unusual for Barbara to request time off just to see a friend. But that's beside the point. What is it you'd like to ask me? About fantastic summer serendipity coral sparkling tea? Oh? You mean to tell me that Barbara intends to accompany you to buy this special drink then you must be the friend that she mentioned i presume i would hope so hmm seeing as you're the honorary knight i guess that's fine well then please take good care of sister barbara since it's all the same i guess i'll just speed past that afterward oh no i see lots of people and they're surrounding barbara barbara i'm coming look at that crowd of people and there's Barbara! Oh, it's you! Over here! Over here! What's going on here? It's Sarah from the Good Hunter! Oh no. Oh, th thank you for all your support. <laughs> please, pl uh, one at a time. Barbasama, I never expected I would have a chance to meet you here today. Are you here attending to matters for the church? Uh, I, I guess you could say that. Uh, uh, Barbasama, may I get your autograph? I, uh, my daughter Ellen is a big fan of yours. Uh, oh, is that so? <laughs> All right, uh, just one moment. Oh gosh, Barbara-sama, I love your style. Please tell me how I can be more like you. Oh, oh uh, really? Well, I I'm still learning and growing myself. I, I guess all I can say is, do your best every day. Oh, Barbara-sama! Uh, Barbara-sama! Barbara-sama! Oh, my! Looks like we might need to intervene. Barbara needs rescuing from the crowd. 
You. Go away. Uh, Barbara-sama, can I get an autograph? Oh, Ellen would be so happy. She's your biggest fan. You won't mind if I check in with Ellen on that. Looks like she's training right over the... Ah! Wait! I, uh... No. Barbara is on official business right now. Oh, is, is that right? Well then, uh, I'll leave her to it. Ellen looks busy with her training. <laughs> Some other time, perhaps. You. Oh, Barbara-sama, you're so hardworking. If I put in as much effort as you, who knows where my apprenticeship would take me? Barbara's working right now? Please don't disturb her. You... You must be the honorary knight. What are you and Barbara-sama doing here? We're on official business. Um, oh, <laughs> of course. Barbara-sama is working after all. Forgive me, I I'll, I'll leave you in peace. Please, Barbara-sama, teach me your style. How can I be more like you? You are an adult asking advice from someone who I think I don't know canonically wise, but is in her early teens. Go away. If it's Barbara's style you're after, you could start by being considerate to others. Uh, sure. Considerate to others. Huh? Aren't you that honorary knight? You and Barbara-sama must be... We're on official business. Official business? Oh, I thought... <laughs> Apologies. I just got so excited when I saw Barbara-sama. Yes, you're right. Being considerate to others is the right place to start. <laughs> Barbara-sama and the honorary knight in the same place. This must be incredibly important official business. I'll take my leave. Thank you. Barbara, are you ready to go? Huh? Where did everybody... I temporarily persuaded them to beat it. <sighs> I shouldn't be saying this, but... Thanks for intervening. I understand everybody's enthusiasm, but the longer I stay here, the more people will gather. It's always been that way. I just don't know how to turn them away. In the end, the Knights of Pavonius always have to come and restore order. <sighs> if only I had your way with words. Barbara, I will give you a sword, <laughs> if that's what helps. Here. It's the fantastic summer serendipity coral sparkling tea you wanted. I ordered this one especially for you. I hardly ever get a day off. Why don't we take a stroll outside the city together and finish our drinks? It's nice to finally relax for a while. Thanks for accompanying me. Come to think of it, this is the first time we've gone for a walk together. When I heard you'd received the title of honorary knight, I thought you'd turn out to be more of a solemn character. But now that I've met you, I can't quite believe it. I never thought... Oh, oh I hope I'm not offending you. No, no, of course not. What I mean is, for someone as young as you to achieve the title of honorary knight, it's amazing. Jean must really believe in you to grant you this title. I hope I can be as great as you one day. So I can help everybody around me, too. But for now, all I can do is sing. <sighs> so sorry. Always thinking about myself. <sighs> We've walked a long way. Why don't we take a break up ahead? Okay. Peaceful here. Nobody's passing through except us. Let's rest for a while. That sudden crowd back there in the city. You must be exhausted. <laughs> oh, I'm so used to it by now, but thanks for wanting to intervene. Usually, the Knights of Favonius end up arriving to restore order. Then someone from the church comes to escort me away. It's happened so many times already. I don't really notice it anymore. Isn't it a little exhausting? Of course. 
more than a little to say the least. But exhaustion for the sake of not letting everybody down is okay. <sighs> Thank you. It's been a long time since I've had such a long conversation, and it's all me complaining. Oh, thanks for listening. The support of an honorary knight goes a long way. <sighs> so, we've still not finished our drinks. Let's finish them off while we're here. We can rest today. But it's back to the grindstone tomorrow. All right, we've got one last one for the Deaconess's Gratitude. So we would like to try the special chili brew. Coming right up! But I... All right, let me... The key to a good batch of chili... I know where to gather fresh... Oh! What? And I think it'd be better if we stick together. Oh, you really think so? Okay, then. With the honorary knight by my side, I can gather ingredients without a care in the world. Oh, and by the way, even though I've already requested a half day's leave from Sister Victoria, she always insists that I still give her my itinerary for any trips I take. We should go check in with Sister Victoria first. We could say... Hmm, we're going out to gather some herbs. All right. <laughs> oh, Sister Barbara... Is something the matter? I'd like to go to the Whispering Woods to pick some herbs. It shouldn't take long. Oh? But didn't you just submit a request for half a day's leave to see a friend? Now you suddenly intend to go herb picking? Hmm. I thought you would take a rest today. Still, you may do as you please with your plans. I won't interfere. But the Whispering Woods are quite a distance away. Perhaps you should request a guard from the Knights of Avonius? I will be accompanying Barbara. With the honorary knight by my side, I'm sure everything will be just fine. Thank you for informing me. I've noted down your plans. Please do come back soon. Thank you. All right, we're good to go. Let's head out. Here we are. The sweet flowers growing here are some of the highest quality. I often mm. pick them here, but... Why are there so many monsters around? <sighs> Let's take care of them first. Then we can look for sweet flowers in the vicinity. Animal test 6308. Absorption test. Boba, get them! <laughs> <laughs> I guess that takes care of them. Piece of cake. You truly are the honorary knight. You barely broke a sweat. Oh, s stop right there. Looks like you hurt yourself on your arm there. Barely a graze. Nothing to worry about. No, no, no. Even a graze can turn into a wound of unimaginable evil if you let it. Wait just a second. I'll have it healed in no time. That should do it. Okay, let's have a look for these sweet flowers. Hello there. Excuse me, but aren't you the deaconess of the Church of Favonius? Uh, yes, I am. Are you all right? Oh, praise the Archons. Please, can you heal me? I'm, I'm a hunter from Springvale. I was attacked by monsters when I passed through here. I was lucky to have escaped, but please, won't you heal me? Springvale's quite a distance away. What is it you're hunting out here? Forest boar. I'm hunting forest boar. <laughs> when you think about it, isn't life just one big forest boar hunt? L look here. Aren't these monster injuries? How could I have done this to myself? Well then, let's head to Springvale and see if we can't find out your identity. How can you be so heartless? How could I make the journey with all these terrible injuries? <laughs> it's no wonder looking at you. You adventurers are all alike. Suspicious by nature. Sister Deaconess, you believe me, right? Heal me. I beg of you. Mm. Yes, I will heal you. Oh, 
His wounds look difficult to heal. I'll need some herbs. Can you watch him for me? No problem. See what you can find. I'll take care of him. Okay. I'm going to look for some small lamp grass in the area. Please stay with him and make sure no monsters get to him. I'll go with you. This fellow could do with some monster hiding practice. You... <clears throat> Fine, heartless adventurer. I'll stay hidden, Sister Deaconess, but please be back soon. I beg of you. We'll be back soon. Don't worry. I'm okay with being a heartless so adventurer. I know what you're thinking. I've heard a lot about the criminal methods of the treasure hoarders around Mondstadt. Usually, if I come across a person like this, I'd simply ask them to seek help from somebody at the church. But this fellow is in serious condition. He needs urgent healing. After all, I've got an honorary knight at my side to protect me, right? There. Let's gather the small lamp grass and head back so we can heal him. Sister Deaconess, you're back. This should do the trick. Hold on a moment. I'm watching you. The, you adventurers really are jumpy these days. You hurt Barbara? You'll wish I was just jumpy. All right, that should do it. But just to be safe, you should probably pay a visit to the church. <laughs> no need. I should be able to recover by myself. Uh, Sister Deaconess, why weren't you suspicious of me? Like the adventurer here. Surely you've heard about the treasure hoarders and their methods. <laughs> Feigning injury by the roadside, begging for healing to get close to travelers, then striking at the opportune moment. You know, stuff like that. And that's just one of their methods. Weren't you worried that I might have been looking to harm you? It crossed my mind. And yet, why did you still help me? Oh, the fact was you needed healing, right? And you hadn't done anything wrong. You just asked me for help. Whatever your true identity, in my eyes, you were merely a person in need of healing. Sister Deaconess, the truth is, I am a treasure hoarder. My plan was to feign injury in order to take advantage of the situation. But I ran into a group of monsters. I barely made it out. Then I realized I actually had to seek help from someone. Anyone. But travelers all kept their distance. None of them believed me. Until you showed up. I can't thank you enough for healing me. I feel strong enough to carry on now. I won't trouble you anymore. Oh. Well, the best thing would be for you to come back to Mondstadt with us. The church can help with your treatment. You're not fully healed yet. Please, I've taken up enough of your time. Oh, these are for you. I'm afraid I have nothing of value to give, but I picked these sweet flowers from nearby. Take them, as thanks for healing me. I will remember your kindness. In the future, if you have any trouble with treasure hoarders, just mention my name, Uwe. I guarantee they won't dare touch the hem of your jacket. I must go. Farewell. <laughs> what a strange character. But I hope his wounds will be okay. At least we got a hold of some sweet flowers. We were running out of time for me to whip you up some chili brew. Oh, wow. This is a great batch. That's everything we need. It's getting late. Let's get back to Mondstadt. Always knew he was a fishy character. <laughs> well, we're back. <sighs> that was pretty tiring. Why did you choose to heal that guy even though you knew he was suspicious? I'm a deaconess. Healing the wounded is something I must do. Besides, I have a vision. Even if you did try anything, I'd have been able to handle it. Not to mention, I had the honorary knight with me. If there'd been any danger, you would definitely have protected me, right? But what if you had been on your own? 
If I was alone... Hmm... Well, for a vision bearer, I'm more adept at healing. If there were too many enemies, I guess I would have been defeated after a while. However, because I would have been alone, I wouldn't have risked an ambush by stopping to heal him myself. I would have just left some herbs with him instead. I'm good at remembering self-defense tactics like that. After all, as Sister Victoria always says, don't go around healing people in the wild. Then again, what's the point of having a vision if I can't stretch the rules once in a while? <laughs> oh, the chili brew! It shouldn't take long to make. Why don't you wait for me in the garden next to the Adventurer's Guild? I'll bring it straight over when it's ready. And we're still getting some chili brew. All right. Okay. So since that literally just had us wrap around back to the other one, we've skipped over it because literally it was the same exact stuff. I chose the different options, but it was still the same. So we need to go back and get this one. I'm not totally sure what. I'm not totally sure what I need to change in my options. That should do it. Hello there. Excuse me, but aren't you the? Uh, yes. Oh, praise the Arca. I'm I'm a hunter from Spring. I was lucky to have escaped, but please, won't you heal me? You're not dressed like a hunter. I decided to do some private hunting today, so I just threw on any old thing. L look here. Aren't these monster injuries? How could I have done this to myself? Hold on, Barbara. So instead of helping her, we're going to say, Hold on, Barbara. He's a suspicious character. We should take him to see the knights first. Oh, uh, okay. But I should heal him first. Wait a minute. You know, I'm suddenly feeling a lot better. Where was I? Uh, Sister Deaconess, uh, I should be going. I won't be needing your healing today. Thank you. Sir, stop where you are. But we're, we're done here, no? Is there a problem? I haven't done anything. We just want to get you healed at the church is all. What's the matter, Shy? What's your problem? You're not making any sense. I just asked to be healed. Is there some law against that? I'm just a humble honorary knight. No need to get excited. Take a walk with me. You think I'm afraid of you? If you want to catch me, you better be up to the task. Well, that's not really what I wanted to do. Fine, you caught me. Like I said, I'm already leaving. That's the last we'll see of him. Whatever he was planning, he won't try it now. Oh, thank you. You don't sound too happy about it. I had a look at his wounds. I think he really did need healing. Even if he was a treasure hoarder. Still, I'm sure you made the right decision. If he did have some ulterior motive, we might have fallen into a trap. Whatever the case, if he does have others lurking about, we're probably still in danger. We should go back to Mondstadt. <sighs> it looks like Chili Brew isn't in the cards this time. I'll have to get around to making one for you next time. I'm heading back to Mondstadt. You should come as well. Don't spend too long out here. I'm sorry, Barbara. And now... We have one last ending to get, and we have to start all the way from the beginning, because this is all the way back when we are in Wolvendom. Just wait here. We'll go send that person away. Oh, all right. I'll just leave it to you then. Please just... just don't tell them that I'm here, all right? The voice seemed to be coming from over there. Let's go take a closer look. Fools coming this close to Wolvendom. Oh, Paimon remembers him. Is it that Albert? Barbara Unfortunately. Sama, uh, are you here? 
What are you shouting at? Uh, who? Me? Uh, well, I'm looking for Barbara Sama. I was originally planning to give her some herbs at the cathedral, but Sister Victoria told me she had gone out to attend to some matters. When I sought Barbara Sama for healing recently, she mentioned to me that the church was running low on certain medicine ingredients. I seem to remember the ingredients she mentioned, some type of red wolf hook berry. I figured she was most likely somewhere out here picking wolf hooks, so I thought I'd come and lend her a hand. Besides, as leader of the Barbara fan club, how could I ever let Barbara Sama go wandering alone in such a dangerous place? Albert, have you ever thought that maybe you are one, creepy, and two, that she doesn't want your company? So I decided to come to Wolvendom looking for Barbara Sama and picking red wolf hooks along the way. Hold on, what's the Barbara fan club? Oh, you can't be serious. It's only the biggest club for Barbasama fans in all Mondstadt. <laughs> Even Huffman's a member now. Even Huffman? Of course. Barbasama has a lot of fans in Mondstadt that wish to support her, you know? I, uh, anyways, the Barbara fan club will have to wait for the moment. I'll fill you in on how great it is when I have time later. I must keep searching for Barbasama for now. <sighs> I don't really even know if Barbara Sama's anywhere around here. Wolvendom is a large area. It would be difficult for you to cover it alone. You should find some others to help you search first. <sighs> you might be right. I should go back and gather more people to help with the search. Since Barbara Sama came here to pick those red wolf hooks, we could just follow the trail of those specific berries to lead us right to her. How can you be certain that she's out picking wolf hooks? She might not even be anywhere nearby here. I heard it from Sister Victoria herself. She told me that she overheard another sister saying that Barbara Sama had come to Wolvendom to pick wolf hook berries. In fact, I could have sworn I heard Barbara Sama's voice when I came here. Uh, by the way, you didn't happen to see any sign of Barbara Sama when you arrived, did you? Uh, perhaps I was hearing things. I've been here clearing the area of monsters all day, but I didn't hear anything. Well, of course you didn't hear anything. You were focused on defeating monsters the whole time. <sighs> All right, then. Barbasama must be somewhere else. Oh, but I still feel a bit worried. I'll go report the matter to Huffman and then have another look around the church. Here, you can have these red wolf hooks I picked earlier. There's no way I'd be able to carry them all back to the city. I'll take what I can to the church after I get back. <sighs> I just hope that Barbasama did indeed go back to the city. What is he doing here? Oh, no! Oh no, I think they screwed up. Oh! Okay. No. We're good. We're good still. Okay. Just a little worried. Barbara! So... Is he gone now? Yeah. He's gone for now. Oh, thank you. Although... I guess I'm not being very polite towards him. Why are you trying to avoid being seen? Well, it's a little embarrassing to say, but in Mondstadt, I often perform songs for people. Because it's been so well received, the other sisters have started. I'm happy to see such turnouts, don't get me wrong. I know that all they want, and I'm I always do my best, but even when I'm in the church, the reason I came here was not only to find- Do you understand that feeling? It's been far too long since I've had that feeling. Before I knew it, no, I could- I remember seeing them here before, but I've already searched the area and there aren't any. I wonder if someone had already picked them. No, people seldom come out here. Are these the kind of wolf hook you're looking for? Huh? Yes, those are the ones! And you found so many! These will be more than enough! But where did you... Oh my... Well, I've been far too impolite. 
Albert came all this way just to help me, and I... But if I were to go and apologize to him, it would probably only make him feel even worse. Oh, I guess I'm still just too immature. Let's just head back to the city for now. I'll think of a way to make it up to Albert later. But no one even knows about this matter. Well, I know. And you also know. And we mustn't forget that Barbados also knows. We certainly can't say that no one knows about this matter. Don't you think? And besides, as a deaconess, I could never simply ignore such a matter. I must take the appropriate actions and make things right. I'll see to that matter on my own. Anyway, the berries you have here will be just enough. We should get going. So I think... Hold on. So this has looped me back to the church's affairs. So... I'm gonna need to go back to sudden shouting. And I have to try and get the bad ending. So... We're going to do our very best to try. We're going to do our best to try to you get the bad ending. Let's go take a closer look. All right, Albert. Barbara Sama, uh, are you here? What are you shouting about? Uh, who, me? Uh, well, I'm looking for Barbara Sama. I was originally planning to give her some herbs at the cathedral, but Sister Victoria told me she had gone out to attend to some matters. When I sought Barbara Sama for healing recently, she mentioned to me that the church was running low on certain medicine ingredients. I seem to remember the ingredients she mentioned, some type of red wolf hook berry. I figured she was most likely somewhere out here picking wolf hooks, so I thought I'd come and lend her a hand. Besides, as leader of the Barbara fan club, how could I ever let Barbara Sama go wandering alone in such a dangerous place? So I decided to come to Wolvendom looking for Barbara Sama and picking red wolf hooks along the way. Oh, so you picked all the berries. That's right, and I'll take them back to the church shortly. After all, I am the leader of the Barbara fan club. It's my duty to make sure Barbara Sama's life's easier. Huh? But uh, judging from your expression, You've never heard of the Barbara Fan Club. I... Uh, anyways, the Barbara Fan Club will have to wait for the moment. I'll fill you in on how great it is when I have time later. I must keep searching for Barbara Sama for now. <sighs> I don't really even know if Barbara Sama's anywhere around here. Barbara isn't here anymore. You'd better head back to the city. Huh? Wait a second. What do you mean, anymore? Did you see her here earlier? So Barbara Sama is somewhere close by. Since Barbara Sama came here to pick those red wolf hooks, we could just follow the trail of those specific berries to lead us right to her. I think you've already searched most of the areas where red wolf hooks grow. Um, maybe. But this is the only place they could be. She wouldn't go anywhere else if those were what she was looking for. Could she really have returned to Mondstadt? Uh, by the way, you didn't happen to see any sign of Barbasama when you arrived, did you? Uh, perhaps I was hearing things. I've been clearing the area of monsters all day, but I didn't hear anything. Well, of course you didn't hear anything. You were focused on defeating monsters the whole time. Well, whatever. I don't have time to keep talking like this. I should keep searching for Barbasama. And you should go back to whatever it is you were doing. Barbara-sama! Where are you? He's bound to find Barbara here sooner or later if this keeps up. Unless... We could start yelling too! That way, Barbara will hear us coming and we'll still have a chance to escape. Hey, what are you so embarrassed about? Oh, just follow Paimon's lead. Barbara! Oh, Barbara! It's us! Barbara? Where are you, Barbara? Huh? You're yelling even louder than me! <laughs> That's just because we like Barbara too, right? Oh, I 
see. In that case, let's do our best together. Barbara! It's us! Are you there? Barbara! Barbara where are you? Dude, we're literally walking in circles. Is this really how you plan on trying to find her? Oh, it seems Barbara's already left. Oh, good. <coughs> My throat is getting... <coughs> oh, I guess Barbara-sama isn't here after all. Surely you're not going to give up so easily. <coughs> no, it's not that. I just... <coughs> I'll help you keep calling for her. Oh. <coughs> uh, all right. My throat won't hold up much longer. Barbara, are you there? <laughs> it's no wonder you've become the honorary knight. You certainly give it your all. <coughs> See, Barbara's nowhere to be found here. Let's head back. Uh, oh, all right. It seems Barbara-sama isn't anywhere around here. Let's return to the city. <coughs> Once Barbara-sama returns to Mondstadt, though, I'll have to ask her to heal my throat. <coughs> Alright, now that is it for this episode of the Genshin Hangout with Barbara. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did, and I will see you guys on the other side.